This is not just a tablet, it's so much more. to the channel. Guys and girls, you're watching me, MQAN here on MQAN Reviews, and I have been using Surface 9 Pro. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my experiences with it, including five standout features that I think you need to know about. Right, before I talk to you about those cool features, let's just show you the two parts of the device that I've got. This in a moment, but this is the Microsoft Surface Pro 9. Now, this variant comes in actually two different types. The one that I've been using is the one with the 12th generation Intel Core, particularly the i5 processor, 8 GB of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and this particular color, which is the stunning sapphire color. So it's more like a blue silver combined mix. And then this is the signature keyboard with the Slim Pen 2 that is an additional purchase, but it's something that's definitely worth considering if you want this in an all-in-one kind of format. This is this beautiful Alicantra um, finish on the keyboard, and then you have the very, very nice Slim Pen 2, and I'll talk to you more about that in a moment. So starting off with the first standout feature of the Surface Pro 9 has to be the overall design. It features this sleek, lightweight, two-in-one form factor, weighing in at around 879 grams. And this is gonna be ideal for travel or use every day. And enclosed in that sleek design are two USB-C with support for Thunderbolt 4 ports, which are gonna be really useful for things like external storage devices. And the one that I've been using recently, an external display. It allows me to mirror or use it as an additional desktop. Now you've also got a port for the propriety magnetic fast charging, but you can also charge it up with a USB-C charger. You've got volume buttons and the power button at the top, and at the back is a 10 megapixel rear-facing autofocus camera, and on the front you also have a camera that can be used for full HD video and Windows Hello authentication. Now, you have a really nice and sturdy hinge system on the back that I found really helpful. One of the things I like was that I could just adjust it to various angles, giving me the choice of using it on the desk or on my lap, and it feels strong in any of those positions. This sapphire color also looks really nice and premium. And all that contains in it the 12th gen Intel Core i5 chip. So for most everyday users, I think this is going to be a great balance between performance and battery life, as this is built on Intel's own Evo platform that has a strong focus on balancing performance and efficiency cores. Now battery life for me using the i5 while testing basic apps and minimizing screen brightness to just above 50 percent and using 60 hertz was about 12 hours but if you need more power or are planning to do more graphic heavy work then consider the i7 version. Related to the design is a second standout feature, and that is a 13-inch Pixel Sense Flow display. It's set up to 60 hertz refresh right out of the box, but you can set the display to refresh at a smoother 120 hertz. And with that great resolution, using the display along with consuming media, using apps, feels and looks really nice. The screen also supports touch with the 10-point multi-touch, and you don't have to worry about scratches because this is made from the strong Gorilla Glass 5. Now the third standout feature is the signature keyboard. It's both light and it's actually really well built with great keys and overall typing experience. Now this is a separate purchase, but I really feel it's worth it's worth it because given how it changes the Surface Pro 9 into something that can be used in different situations, the signature keyboard attaches to the Surface Pro 9 magnetically, so if you want to take it off, you just pull the two apart to detach them. But the keyboard has enough up and down key travel for good tactile feedback, and it also has an easy to use glass touchpad, though I personally wish its physical clicking action was just a little bit quieter. And hidden away in the keyboard is the fourth standout feature, and that's a Slim Pen 2. It's an upgrade from the previous pen in that it's newer and a bit better. Uh, you can draw better with it and you don't have to change the batteries. It charges through the keyboard, which is really helpful. I like the way it feels in the hand and how it gives this haptic feedback. There's a vibration motor built into the pen that vibrates gently that makes it feel more like you're writing on paper than a glass display. And I found this helpful when signing documents and making quick notes or do just like the signature keyboard, it's an additional accessory that if you're planning on doing pen work, might be worth the extra money. So have a think about that. 
Right, one of the other cool features that stands out is the software that powers the Surface Pro 9, and that is Windows 11. Windows 11 is the latest version of Microsoft's operating system, and that is available, and combined with the hardware of this device, you're gonna get smooth, seamless experience throughout. There are too many functions and features of Windows 11 to mention, but a couple of them that really stand out for me are things like Windows Hello, really easy and quick to access your device, plus you can use passwords and other sensitive information when you need them for websites with Windows Hello. Really, really helpful feature to have. And then things like themes. Um, this is something that's quite interesting. It's not just a standard dark mode and light mode. In fact, you can customize and choose different themes and it does make uh, an impact. It does make uh, an impression when you are using different themes. Plus you can download range of different themes if you'd like as well. So that's a really cool feature. One of the other things that I really like is when it comes to multitasking. So Windows 11 has something called Snap Multitasking, and that allows you to essentially add different windows in a snap format, makes it really quick, very easy to do. So for example, imagine I wanna work on this image over here and also doodle and draw at the same time. That is really, really easy to do. And obviously you can do that with up to four different applications, all divided and very easy to use on the go. All right, one other thing that I'm gonna to talk to you about, something that I've been playing around with on Windows 11 is a software called ClipChamp. Now ClipChamp was purchased by Microsoft a little while ago and they've incorporated this within Windows 11. This is gonna be a cool um, application if you want to make video assets like intros and outros, really easy to use. It's a lot of fun as well because you can actually make different video elements that you might want to use on you know, YouTube or social media, definitely worth checking out. Very easy and fun to use with all the templates. So I told you at the beginning of this video that this was much more than just a tablet. I feel like if you're looking for a lightweight Windows powered two-in-one, this is definitely worth considering. I'll share the specs and price information in the description below, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, check out this other video review here. I'll see you there.